So, hi again. This is a station where we had a simple drawing by some letters, an H and an V. A v. And if we look at just the simulation as it uh, runs from this position, we have so we go down and write letter H and then a V. Like this. Looking at the rapid code, this could be simplified or, or cleaned up in a way to in a better way and if we use procedures and just to then show how procedures are used in rapid in a simple way we introduce a uh, procedure for the offsets and in this case we generate a procedure uh, up meaning that in this procedure the robot should move up from a defined reference position or target and we reference is a rob target and we have the variable p in this one and then we have a um, In move instruction, you can copy this one as a template for that. And with a copy and control cop, control C, control V, and we move offset to the drop target P. Go up 50 millimeter, velocity 200, Z1, and so forth. And then we end this with the and as you see here, it suggests a a um, string for that instruction and pros that finish that. So if we use this here, we don't need these offsets. Instead, we just write up and the. Uh, target position we are referencing to h underscore 10 in this case semicolon and then we just delete the rest like this one and that we do for all of these we had an offset here that one and here we have up h underscore 20 and the same here we have up h underscore 30 and here we have up h underscore 40 like that and then we have 150 Just delete that one and I just make a control C, control V and change that to 50. And, and finally here and 60. And then we have one here. V and we have that one here up v underscore 30 like that and now when we've done that we do an apply here take by all be sure and no errors everything seems fine we do synchronization to the station synchronize everything and complete it but then we run the simulation like that and it should behave as before but the rapid program is much more nicer much more easy to follow we have a procedure up we drop target p we have this information here 
the path just uses the target and then up h10 easy to follow everything of course it's possible to add the variables for velocity for the set value and so forth also then we can see that the zone data of this variable if i have this uh, mouse over this the uh, data type for the z value is zone data the variable the, the data type for velocity is speed data so if you want to add we have to include that here examples velocity and we have zone data um, zone for example so if we want to call this procedure now with the speed data and the zone data as an example so we have the data types speed data vel and zone data for the parameter zone and they those are called like this we need to have the speed data as as written here actually uh which could be the 500 and the zone data could be z uh, 50 or whatever and um, that is appropriate for that one and then we take something else here we have the 100 z 5 for example and just to change things here the uh, one and a um, z 15 and we can have well the 60 z5 we can have the 10 comma z0 and have to do the rest also v 40 dot z 20 and the final here v 100 dot z 1 like that and then we change this here we start instead well and zone like that and then we apply all changes one semantic error unknown entry data v1 and that is here so some reason that is undefined there wasn't any v1 defined for the scope of this robot so we can select v3 instead but that shows that actually what's happening here if you introduce an error so now we apply everything again and we still want semantic error and we have too few arguments in uh, row 26 so we forgot about the 50 here and z uh, 10 for example it's fine then we do apply all again and no errors good now we do a synchronization to the station again and select everything and 
run this one now that should be slightly different ways to run this different velocities and so forth as you can see which reflects how we call this procedure with different velocities right again And here we can see them side by side this way. And but again, in this case, I think it's not needed to have the SP data, zone data for this. We just have the up procedure as implemented before we choose the 200 simply like that we have the set value set to 5 we say pretty good and then we take out these here they are not really needed it should produce an error if we have them and like that, clean it up like that. This one, that one, and finally, this is, should be the last one. Then do an apply for all. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. No, it seems to be fine. And do a synchronization to the station like this. And onto that one. And run it again. And everything seems to be work fine. Okay. See you next time. Okay, bye.